welcome back everybody. We're going to do a pod review today and I think we're going to do it on... Not that one. Let's take a look out here and see what we got that might be ready. There's a bunch of them ready. We got that one over there. That's a Chinese five color. And we got this little one here. This is called the... Um, the April Fool's Pepper. I'm really ecstatic about this thing. I love the shape of this thing. This thing is so weird looking. Look at that. I mean, that isn't weird. And a lot of these peppers this year are coming out like this. Let me see if I can pick this one off here. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. They're gotten really stripey, mojo-y like, you know. Really, really mojo-y. But it's all the same thing, you know, same plant. There's nothing. I didn't do anything special. Pick a few of these off. Yeah, we'll do a pod review on this. I'll show you one of the plants I got inside. Really love these pods on here, the shape of these things. Look at this. Hopefully you can see that. Isn't that cool looking? That's really, really creepy. It's like, uh, sort of like a, um... Uh, what do you call it? Like a, uh, Marupai. Marupais tend to get really, really gnarled up like that, you know? But, yeah, we can pick a few of those. Yeah, I've got another plant in here. A couple plants in pots over here. They're just sitting here waiting it out. And, uh, yeah, you can see these are, they're a beautiful plant. Generally, this is, this is an ornamental variety, so, um... Uh, generally, you don't want them to get tall and leggy like this. This was like in the back, so I just recently moved it up here. But um, it's loaded with pods, as you can see. There's, there's all kinds of peppers all over. You can see the great shapes on that thing, and uh, they're really, they're they're really beautiful. They're, they're, when you grow this thing in full sun, it gets really bushy, and it li it looks like a Medusa's head with snakes coming out and all those pods will turn really red like this oftentimes spotty and it really looks incredible when this plant is in full bloom and the, and the pods are really going going to town but the pods get really really hardcore purple this is kind of like light purple in here because it didn't get a lot of sun but as you can see some of the pods out here look at how dark purple um if i can find you in here where are you Look how dark purple that got. Dark, dark purple. Really cool looking. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys. Let's uh, turn you around and give that a go. Alright, welcome back, everybody. We're going to do a pod review today on this pepper right here. And it's called the April Fool's Pepper. Because you got to be a real fool to eat a fool's pepper. Especially on April 1st. But anyway, this is it. And these are kind of on the small side. These peppers, I've seen them get as big as, say, I would probably guesstimate and say maybe two and a half, three inches long. They can get quite long, and the plant can get pretty big. you got to grow it in a pot in full sunlight. This year, I didn't have the room for it. I kind of stuffed these peppers all in tight areas, and uh, I just didn't have the room for it. But next year, I'm going to grow a lot of my ornamental peppers right out in like the full sun area of my yard. I'm going to create a raised bed just specifically for these uh, ornamental varieties, which generally stay pretty short. They don't get too much bigger than, say, 12 inches tall, but they get really bushy, and they really load up with these these little pods. So um, we'll grow that out next year, and we'll set it up uh, right in the middle of the yard somewhere so we can get a raised bed full of these ornamental peppers. But anyway, that's it. So let's give that a bite and see what it tastes like. What a weird taste. Very, very mild. A little on the sweet side. This one's really been ripe. It's almost dry. And they're really small. This is what it should look like. See how it gets kind of spotty? It's got a nice taste, actually, this thing. That, that one was a little on the sweet side. It had like a, almost a sweet, uh, sugary type uh, effect to it. So it kind of threw me off. Usually these ornamental type peppers, they're not really sweet, but this one had a little bit of sugary in it. And when we start getting into ornamental peppers, they kind of have like a weird flavor of their own as well. They kind of taste like bird peppers a little, but not 100%. They're a little bit different. Oftentimes, they'll have like a fragrance to it or a, a an overtone or an undertone 
overtone meaning there's a, a weird flavor when you first eat it, and but the undertone is the aftertaste that, that weird flavor may come up back then. So oftentimes these these peppers will have that. This one has like a just a weird kind of flavor to it. It's nice though. It's nice. It's not like cayenne or anything. It's it's a very nice flavor. I'm trying to think of what I can describe it as. Again, it doesn't really taste like cayenne. It tastes like a hot pepper, but not cayenne. Uh, possibly in a bird pepper family, but again, when we start talking about ornamental peppers, they really got those peppers really fall into a world of their own when it comes to flavor. They they have like a weird kind of a, a flavor to them. Yeah, you can eat them; they're fine. You're not going to die or get sick or anything. Most people will grow these varieties specifically just because of the looks of it, and it's just really weird. But you can eat them if you want to. Now, as far as the flavor goes on it, like I said. I, I don't know I don't know how I'm trying to place it. It's ornamental flavor. That's the only way to describe it. It had a weird flavor to it. It wasn't like anything atypical. As far as the heat goes, I would say the heat was probably, was really low on that particular one. I would say the heat can probably get up near maybe 5,000 Scovilles. It may get a little hotter. That particular one wasn't hot. Take another bite off of one of these. Yeah, it's got a weird kind of flavor. Strange. It's not bad. It's just different. This would be better for drying out, if you ask me. Uh, you could eat them fresh, but I would dry. These you dry right out in the sun. As far as the heat goes, they could probably get as hot as 5,000. This particular pepper, I wouldn't put it past more than two or 300 Scoville units. It was really low. It wasn't nothing to brag about. The type of burn that it is, it's very low to, to, for me to sense what it is. But it's more or less on my lips. It's a very mild, smooth burn. It's really all it is. It's it's tingling the tonsils a little bit, though. It feels good. I like that tingling effect on the tonsils. That feels good. And it's just a small, slow, mild, smooth burn, basically. And um, it's like a, a, a soft, glowing burn, which is unusual for anims, because usually anims are either striking and hot, or they're, you know, they're, they're not they're not usually um, slow and smooth. This is like almost like a bacadum burn, but with the flavor of an anum. It would be a good way to describe that. A very slow, soothing type of burn. Uh, like I said, it, it only affected the areas where I chewed it on, which is this part of my mouth. I was moving it around. A little bit on the gums, a little bit between the teeth, a little bit on the tip of the tongue, the back of the tonsils a little bit, a little warm going down. Nothing to brag about, basically. Very nice. It's a very nice variety. But I would grow that more or less for the ornamental purposes. As you can see, and I'll show you again. You, as you can see, these things make some really cool-looking pods. I mean, look at some of these. They look like Maropa, Marupai pods. Look at that. Isn't that cool-looking? And when you grow them in the full sun, they really get gnarly big time. I mean... And you can see they, they're varying color because these are probably getting ready to ripen. That's why they're kind of getting orange or tan color. They're getting ready to ripen. I like to get that plant all, you know, once that plant gets uh, most of them ripen off, off of it, I'm going to cut them all off. I'll probably bring that in for the winter and then we'll let it go into full flower mode and we'll get some more pods out of that. Maybe I could dry the pods out and just sell you guys the dry pods and you could grow the seeds from that. But it's a cool pepper. Give that one a go. It's one of my favorite... Uh, all-time favorite um, ornamental varieties. I, I like. I grow a lot of ornamentals, but that's like one of my favorite. That one's really, really weird. That one's definitely up in that place of weird. And we like over here at HR Seeds. We like weird. So, anyway, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to pick up seeds, you can shoot over to the website and uh, check it out there. I'm not sure when we're uploading this video, but by then, I'm pretty sure we'll have seeds up for it. And uh, you can read about whatever information I put on there on the website. If you have any anything you want to add to that information or you know something more about this, feel free to comment below so I get the full details of it. And I will add that to the description. And I appreciate that. Uh, and that's it, guys. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.